Hi, and welcome to another episode of Dave's Kitchen. It's late spring and we're at Fort Vancouver High School, and Dave and I are trying to think of something to cook that we haven't done before. Hmm. What are you thinking, Dave? Well, I know you've traveled a bit and you've gone to Germany. Yes, I have been to Germany, and I had some great schnitzel over there. Huh. I've never been there and don't have much experience cooking gen uh, German food, so possibly, I don't know, how are we going to get some help, Dave? Well, I'm not going to be much help, because I really don't know too much except for schnitzel and uh, what's that cheesy dish they eat all the time? Oh, the fondue. I think, is it Swiss or German? I'm not positive. Man. Neither am I. Hmm. Let's think about hmm. this. We need help with this, Dave. Whoa, where'd Whoa. you come from? Germany. 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 You're from Germany? Yes. Perfect. Perfect we're trying training. to cook German food, but we're That's from America awesome. and we don't know anything about it. Nope. You can help us out? Of course. You know all about German food? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, very good. Well, should we go to our kitchen and try this out? Awesome. Let's... Where'd she, go, where'd she go? She disappeared again. Our help is gone. I hope we can find her. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Let's go to get some cooking on. I hope she put some breadcrumbs behind her trail. Maybe we could just follow those breadcrumbs, Dave. Mm. There's some. Oh, you got in here fast. I'm doing a German appetizer. And what do you call this German appetizer? Schafskäse mit Honig. Schafskäse mit Honig. What does that mean in English so I can understand? Goat cheese with honey. Oh, that's simple. Oh, yeah. I understand that. That's a little bit easier. Okay, so what, do you, what, what ingredients, what do you have going on here? Tell me about it. Honey, mm -hmm. salt and pepper, mm -hmm. goat cheese and bread. Beautiful. Well, let's see it. Let's, let's see right. how it goes together. So you have about a four by four inch of a piece of foil. Mm -hmm. Then you take the goat cheese, put it into the middle. Okay. Take salt, take some pepper, and then you take a little bit of honey. You don't want to put too much because it's going to melt. Mm. And then you take the edges of the foil, fold them together to have a little Oh, it's so like a little, a little care package, a little yeah. purse. Yeah, and then curse. you put it for about two minutes into the oven. And, and when it comes out of the oven, mm -hmm. it should be slightly melted, kind mm -hmm. of still in the form. And then you can spread it on bread or eat it on a salad, on Ooh, meat. Nice. Ooh, nice. Yeah. The salad sounds really good. Wonderful. So let's get it in the oven and then we'll right. try it out a little bit later. Oh, it came out of the oven looking nice. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I like the gold color of the honey on there too. And the pepper flakes. That's a nice contrast. Do you ever put any veggies or do you just serve it by itself? Well, you can put it on the veggies or the veggies with, with, with it, it in there. Yeah, oh, cool. that works. So can I try a piece of this? Sure. Because that looks beautiful. Here, let me, ooh, 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 ooh. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Mmm, brilliant. Superb. It has a little tartness from the goat cheese, but then the sweetness from the honey kicks in. No, it's a really nice balance. Very Thank good you. job. Thank I you. I can see why your mother taught you this. This is nice. <laughs> yeah. You say gut in German? Yeah, good. Good. Right. Very good. Good? I like this. Mmm, this tastes Very good. I like how easy it is. Mm-hmm. So Laura, I think we need to come, come clean with the viewers and tell them who you really are. So, who are you, Laura? I'm an exchange student from Germany. And where in Germany do you come from? Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Isn't that kind of in the center? Yes, kind of. Well, today we are set up to make the schnitzel that I know how to make. And I'm sure you could give me some pointers and help me with it. Sure. So, let's get started. All right, sounds good. Okay. Well, here we have our, our mise en place all set up. 
so that the viewers can see what it takes to make it. And we've got chicken today. We've got a piece of chicken breast and we have some chicken thigh meat that we've taken the bones out of. And we have uh, lemon for flavoring, salt and pepper to season it, flour, breadcrumbs, and we're going to use eggs to make up our egg wash. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean up the chicken and then we're going to take this tool here, which is the meat hammer, and it's a really important part of making schnitzel. And we're going to pound the chicken really thin so it's going to fill up a plate very nicely. So I guess I'll get started on butchering the chicken. All right, Laura, while I'm getting the chicken ready, why don't you roll those breadcrumbs into a finer uh, grind, so to speak, so they're really fine grain. It'll make a nicer schnitzel, don't you think? Yes, it does. Okay, so I'm going to put the chicken thigh meat here and close it in plastic, and then I'll start to pound the meat and make it real thin. So first I'll start off with this. It's important when you hit that you slide after you hit. I'm exaggerating the, the push a little bit, but it makes a real good schnitzel like so. If you have a tough spot, you can use this textured part of the meat hammer. And here we have our first one. So Laura, can yes. you tell uh, <clears throat> us about schnitzel, where it started, where it comes from? Well, originally it's from Austria, oh. exactly Vienna. Oh, Vienna. So is that why it's called Wiener Schnitzel? Exactly. How do you say that truly? I, I don't have the right accent. Wiener Schnitzel. Wiener Schnitzel. Right. Oh, I, I can remember uh, Jäger Schnitzel <laughs> and Holstein Schnitzel. I can't quite say them right, but I've been happy with every schnitzel I ever had. <laughs> it's been delicious. This is the chicken breast. We're going to treat this a little differently. We're going to use what we call a butterfly cut. We're going to come in from one side and take the knife. You can kind of see where the tip of the knife is, right? Almost up. Didn't quite cut all the way through the breast. We open it up like this, and you can see that it's going to take very little pounding to make that thin because we already cut it thinner. And so I'm not going to use this section because the breast is so tender it doesn't need that. So Laura, let's season the uh, breadcrumbs real well with salt and pepper. All right. So this would be a real good dish to teach to people that don't have a lot of cooking skill because it's not a very complicated dish. It's a simple pan fry actually. It's not quite a saute. You're using a bigger cut of meat and you're going to cook it in a fair amount of oil with a little bit of butter. The butter, I like to use butter in it because the butter helps it brown a little bit more and it gives it more flavor, don't you think? Yes, it does. So let's talk a little bit about breading. And breading is usually done this way. It's got the flour, the egg, and the breadcrumbs. The purpose of the flour is to dry the product and to seal it. And then we have the egg, which wets it, and it becomes a glue for the breadcrumbs. And then we press the breadcrumbs into it. And what we're hoping is to keep all the moisture of the chicken inside and under the breadcrumbs, which would be a protective coating and we want those breadcrumbs to be crispy and golden brown so we get that extra bonus of a good texture. So how we're going to cook it is like this. Let's go to the stove. We've got the burner on, we need a big skillet, and we need to preheat the skillet a little bit. And then we're going to use oil, and we have to use a lot of oil. So the oil won't be so much a part of the dish because the way we're going to cook it, it won't absorb much of the fat. So we need a high, high temperature and we're going to use a little butter for flavor and it's going to help color a little bit too. 
So what we'll do is make sure we get this at the right temperature. We'll just feel it. See if it's getting hot. It is. It starts to sizzle a bit. Not quite hot enough. We'll just wait just a second more. Okay, it's starting to talk to us. You can hear it. And there goes our first piece. And we're going to put some butter in there now. Get that butter to melt. So it got quite a bit bigger as we sliced it and then pounded it between the plastic. Uh, the plastic is really helpful. If you don't use plastic wrap, the chicken tends to uh, disintegrate and fly all over the place. So it's really helpful to have that. Wait, it sounds good, doesn't it? I love the sound of food as it's cooking. So you're saying schnitzel is really, uh, it came from Austria to start with, yes, yeah? Yes, actually it did. Uh-huh. But yeah. it kind of got traditional German and Germans love schnitzel. Okay, our schnitzel's coming along just great. We're going to drain this one on a paper towel. And I'll keep cooking them. And Laura, you're going to make a dish with spinach in it for us today, aren't you? Yes, I am. So that will go really good with the schnitzel. It does. Why don't I keep cooking schnitzels, and you can start on the spinach dish, and I'll give you a hand in my free time, and maybe we can get Mr. Finney out here again to help us. Hi, I'm Dave. And I'm Dave. We'd like to invite you to attend a patron tour. Patron tours occur about four times a year. They're hosted by our superintendent, Dr. Steve Webb. You get to ride on a school bus with the doctor and tour two of our schools. Then you'll come back to the Bates Center where uh, the two Daves and their students will prepare a lovely meal for you. You'll have lunch with some entertainment and get to meet some of the staff around the Vancouver School District. Just call this number on your screen, save up $4, bring it with you. You can have a great buffet, listen to some great musicians and get to meet our superintendent. Learn about your schools. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you there. All right, are you ready to make some spinach? I am. Let's get awesome. to this. Let's All see right. how you do it. Awesome. So we have the skillet. Put it on the stove. Add some oil. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay. Waiting a little bit till it's warm. Then you add the spinach. Now, sp spinach shrinks a lot, huh? Yes, it does. So and it cooks pretty fast once it gets going, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. So to fasten it up a little bit, you put a lid over it and just wait. And then water will come out of the spinach, right? Yes, it does. And then that traps the steam because you have a lid on it, so it'll just wilt it right down. Exactly. Okay, that's very good. Yeah, good deal. Awesome. Well, let's see Check how it. you're, let's yeah. see, I, I can hear it. Oh yeah, it's starting to go now. I can see the water coming out of the spinach. So Laura, um, I know you, you seem to really enjoy cooking. Yeah, who, I really do. Who got you into the whole cooking? My grandma and my mom. Yeah? Yeah. So in, in Germany, you all sit down as a family often, like grandma, mom, relative yeah, type Yeah, we used thing? to, or we still do, cook a lot together, and then we, many times we just, or a lot of times, we just sit there and think, what can we do? And then we pull off some random recipes and well, that's do it cool. together. So you have fun together. I mean, yeah, it, it's, we do. It, that's why you like it yeah. so much, because it, it, it's a, it, a time for you to get together with your family, but... yeah. It in a fun way, just, working together. Yeah, it is not just one is preparing the meal and everybody else sure. is eating. It's like working all together and enjoying. Yeah, and then everybody enjoys their, their work because yes. everybody put a part into it. That's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, it does. So now you add some cream cheese 
or sour cream. Oh, that's different. I've never done that before. Salt and pepper. And nutmeg. Nutmeg? Nutmeg. Well, that throws yes. a twist into it, doesn't it? Yes, it really does. Mm, that's kind of cool. I like that. Because it'll be broken down with the sour cream quite a bit, right? Yeah. Right, yeah, that'll be cool. You kind of fold the sour cream into the spinach. Mm. <clears throat> Now, do you, do you melt the sour cream all the way down, or do you just like get it so it's coated and then turn it off? Yeah, you get it coated, so okay. just like that. Okay. And then you can just turn it off. Wonderful. And then you're ready to go. Nice. Oh, a beautiful little garnish. Ready Very to good go. job. So Laura, it's been great having you on Dave's kitchen today and cooking German food with us and being a student in our class too. So thank you. Thank you guys. Yeah, it was awesome. Thanks for teaching us. We learned something new today and a little more about Germany. That was very nice. Thanks. Thank you. I enjoyed it. I feel help. Could you say something in German to the people that are watching the show? Like, uh, thank you for watching Dave's kitchen and I have really enjoyed being here. All right. Um, danke, dass ihr euch um, die Folge von Dave's Kitchen angeschaut habt. Und mir hat das wirklich sehr gefallen. Wow. wow. I'm not even going to go for that one, Dave. I know how to say goodbye in German. Do you know how to say goodbye? Auf Wiedersehen, I think. Auf Wiedersehen? Let's say goodbye to him in All German. Right. Let's do that. Auf, Auf Wiedersehen! Wiedersehen. Maybe I should get a job in the <laughs> Maybe. All right, here we go.